My name is Gabriela by Monica Brown, illustrated by John Para. Essential question. Why are reading and writing important? Vocabulary in context. These words will be highlighted in yellow throughout the story. Accepted. The students gave the teacher an apple. She accepted it. Express. You can express your ideas by writing a story. Taught. This teacher taught his class a new word. Grand. A grand award is a top prize in a contest. Pretend. This girl is not a real doctor. She is a pretend doctor. Prize. The best speller received first prize in the spelling bee. Wander. The children wander when the caterpillar will become a butterfly. Fluttering. The butterfly is fluttering its wings as it flies. The wings move quickly. Read and comprehend. Target skill. Understanding characters. My name is Gabriela is a true story that tells about the poet Gabriela Mistral. Pay attention to what Gabriela says and does. Use these clues and other text evidence to understand Gabriela and why the author wrote about her. You can write details in a chart like this. Character, words, thoughts, action, trait, target strategy, analyze, evaluate. To analyze as you read, think about the author's words and story events. Then evaluate or decide how the words and events help you understand what is important in the text. Preview the topic, reading and writing. People have been reading and writing for thousands of years. Writing is a way to record information. We can still read things that were written long ago. Some of your favorite books might be very old. Someday in the future, people may read what you write today. In My Name is Gabriela, you will read about Gabriela Mistral. She was a poet who knew that reading and writing are important. How do you feel about reading and writing poetry? Genre. A biography tells about events in a person's life. As you read, look for information about why a person is important, events in time order. Meet the author, Monica Brown. Monica Brown's daughters think it's pretty cool to have a mom who's an author. At book signings, they'll walk up and announce that it was their mommy who wrote this book. Miss Brown says, the family lives in Arizona, not far from the Grand Canyon. Meet the illustrator, John Para. John Para grew up in California in a home filled with Mexican art, food, 
and traditions. Today, Mr. Para's colorful artwork can be seen in galleries, on posters, and CD covers, and in the pages of children's books. My name is Gabriela Mistral. It is a name I chose myself because I like the sound of it. I love words and sounds and stories. When I was a little girl, I lived with my mother and Emelina, my sister, in a small house in the beautiful Elqui Valley in Chile. From my bedroom window, I could see the Andes Mountains. When I couldn't sleep, I would look up at the mountains and wonder what could be beyond them? Zebras with polka dots? Rainbow colored flowers? Angels reading books? I loved words. I liked the sounds they made rolling off my tongue. And I liked the way they could express how I felt. When I saw a butterfly fluttering, I noticed the way the words fluttering butterfly sounded together like a poem. I taught myself to read so that I could read other people's words and stories. I read stories about princes and princesses, about monsters, and about birds and flowers. Analyze the text. Author's word choice. What words does the author use to tell how Gabriela feels about words? I also like to write poems, sing songs, and tell stories using the words that I knew. I told stories about happy times and sad times, about mothers and babies and little children. I liked to play school with the children of my village. I pretended to be the teacher and my friends, Sofia, Ana, and Pedro, were my pupils. Pedro would always say that I was mean because I made him write his ABCs until he knew all the letters of the alphabet. But I told him that the alphabet is important. How else would he create words and tell his stories without it? In our pretend class, we sang songs like the baby chicks are saying peep, peep, peep. It means they're cold and hungry. It means they need some sleep. That was Sophia's favorite song. During recess, we had fun running and chasing and laughing and playing. When I grew up, I became a real teacher and writer. I taught the children of Chile and many of my students became teachers themselves. I still wrote poems, happy poems, sad poems, stories of mothers and children. But I also wrote poems about animals, about parrots and peacocks and even rats. Analyze the text. Understanding characters. What does the author want you to know about how Gabriela feels about teaching and learning? How do you know? 
I also traveled to far away places. I never saw zebras with polka dots or rainbow colored flowers, but I met wonderful children and their teachers. I traveled to Europe, to France and Italy. I traveled to Mexico. I traveled to the United States. Everywhere I went, I wrote and taught and met teachers. I saw how all over the world, people wanted their children to learn. My stories traveled the world with me. People liked to read my happy stories, my sad stories, my stories of women and children, my stories of parrots and peacocks, of old lions, and of the fisher folk who slept in the sand and dreamt of the sea. And because people from all over the world loved my stories so, I was given a very special prize, the Nobel Prize for Literature. When I accepted the grand award, I thought of the beautiful mountains outside of my window in Chile, of my mother and sister, of the children of my village, and of all the stories that still need to be told. This is the end of the story. Goodbye.